All right, Kim, thank you. Now we want to get you to some disturbing allegations about a Detroit school employee. He's accused of sexual misconduct for what he allegedly said to a 16 year old female student. Yeah, and that student's mother is now talking with us. Local force Nick Monticelli joining us live outside of the school there on Detroit's west side. Nick. Ever good morning to you. So this is the Jerry L. White Center, a school for special needs children. The mother in this case says that it's actually more disturbing because they had an issue a while ago, made a complaint, and then this fall, this paraprofessional is still in the school, and the comments, she says, are getting worse. It's sick. That's what it is. Tanila Hardwick has had it last year. She says she complained to a social worker at the Jerry L. White Center about comments a parapro in his 50s was making to her teenage daughter. And she said, he said I had big breasts. Um, he's looking at my behind. She said when he looks at me, he gives me a look. And she was like, me and my friends were like, oh, he's creepy. Hardwick also says he was back on the job this fall, escalating his comments and telling this student he wished she was older. With her, she will say, well, did I do something wrong? Um, did I make him look at me? And I'm like, no, you didn't do anything wrong. You're 16. He's 50 something years old. You're are young enough to be his daughter. Jerry L. White is a school for children with special needs. In a statement, DPSED said the district is currently investigating allegations of sexual misconduct involving a paraprofessional at Jerry L. White. The employee was immediately placed on leave September 20th, 2019, pending further investigation. Now, it's not immediately clear exactly what happened after the first comments were made and the first complaints were made to the district, but we do know the district in their statement also told other students, any students, that they have, if they have had any kind of inappropriate interactions, they are urged to speak up. We're live here on Detroit's West Side. Nick Bonacelli, Local 4 News Today.